All right, boys, so we are about to trade for our, I don't know, actually our second shiny secret. If you guys do not know, I actually already did trade for a shiny Chance King SSS stat, and I rolled Almighty on it. Now we're going to be trading for a shiny Eagers, and if you guys have not seen the prices, um, they, they are quite bad. They're worth over 2 million gems. Not about to trade for that, so I am going to be giving away two Almighty Secrets and a Almighty Mythical. Extra Almighty Hikari and my Almighty Eagers, because I'm going to be getting a shiny one SSS stat. These ones are not that great stats as well, so let's go ahead and trade them. I already forgot his name. Okay, he's this one right here. Okay, so we're going to be giving him a level 70 almighty double trait egress. We're going to be giving him an almighty chance king. And on top of that, we're going to be giving him an almighty garp. There we go. Oh, he isn't on his booth. Okay. All right. Now back to this. So look at this. Level 70. Already maxed out SSS stats. Definitely worth it for me. Let me know if you guys think this is a W or an L trade. So wrong one. Our normal. And then this one right here. And plus our garp, I think I was adding. So almighty SAS. This is like my first almighty I rolled, I'm pretty sure. And then my chance king, I traded for this. This right here, I also traded for so none of this are really paid for and he's going to be taking this this is a w trade for him so i'm not surprised he wants it chance king this guy this is a double trade so if i don't get an almighty double trade right now i may be pretty mad all right but our second shiny secret i was actually in a leaderboard run so he waited five hours for this so shout out to whatever that name is but shout out to you thank you for the shiny egress we're about to get very lucky on this so i'm about to trade my alt for some rerolls right now if you guys do not know, I usually try to stack up a bunch of rerolls on my alts. I grind a lot during the day. Don't really have much of a life. All I really do is go to the gym. The rest of that is like three hours of sleep. Do you think my team can get to 100? All right, let's see his team. So he has... Uh, ooh. And if you guys do not know, I'm also going to be trading away my level 70 SSA minus almighty the rift sorcerer. So if you guys do want to offer in comments for this, he's going to be at least worth 1.5 million gems in my opinion. Shiny Eager seems to be worth a lot more than what I just traded for it. I could have gotten almighty if I just added in a few thousand rerolls, but I was like, you know what? If I just get lucky enough we can get it but yeah i did trade over all my rerolls on my alt account so i'm hoping to get very very lucky right now and if i cannot he's like go like rolling on it so it's his unit we gotta have the luck he already gave us good luck so surely we get good luck and he's going to trade me over all of his rerolls which is quite a bit i mean if this can't get me almighty oh yeah oh yeah and this cannot get me almighty boys you won't be hearing of me i'm going to let the kidnappers get me that's all i'm saying i'm not coming back it's my last video if i can't get almighty with this this right here if i get this, this is a w w trade it's worth it all right but our shiny egress we're about to lock in boys we're about to get almighty and not many rolls i'm i'm lagging quite a bit i'm not gonna lie. i was just in a six hour lb run we just got number six on cursed and yeah i'm lagging quite a bit again he waited like six hours for me i was only at like wave 40 and then i got a trade for it but yeah, look at this. We can barely even roll right now. Oh, no, I gotta stop sharing my screen on Discord. They they don't get this exclusive content, bro. All right, I got you guys with the lowest quality rerolling. But oh my god, I cannot roll at all. Like I'm spam clicking it. It's taking so long. This is a new feature because I don't like it. Oh, I'm gonna. Oh, I have 500 ping. That makes a lot of sense. I mean, I'm never lucky in this server, but you guys are. So might as well roll in here.
The private server was not it, bro. Every time I roll in my private server, I get nothing. Yeah, oh, every time when trader. someone else rolls in my private server, it's a different story. I think it's time for the trader. Alright, this is 300 rerolls. 300 rerolls in this server right here. Requiem. We still have a thousand shards of I'm rolling. I'm not gonna I'm not even gonna keep the Requiem, bro. It's all muddy or nothing. That's only two all or two Requiems and three thousand shards though. Oh! Oh my god! It's a double straight! Yeah. It's a double straight! Oh my god! Yes! Finally! Oh my god! Yes! My first double tree almighty! Oh my god! That I actually pulled. Oh yes! Yeah. 16,000 damage! Look at that! Oh my god! Hold on, I gotta send it to Big Bro that I bought it from. Oh my god! I'm actually surprised I got this. I was not expecting that. Hold on, now we got shiny. Two shinies. We're just missing Sung Jin Woo and the Rift Sorcerer. Dude, chill. Let's go showcase Big Bro. Alright, well we have a shiny SSS stat almighty brawler one. Let me know if you guys think this was worth it. Now I did give away my two secrets and then the garp they were all almighty the mythical was shiny of course that's the only reason why it was tradable but yeah we gave him over 2 million gems in value i'm pretty sure because it was a double trait but this right here this right here 3 million gems at least i guess all this for at the bare minimum actually i would think it would be 3 million i'm never going to trade this off though it's going to go for a lot of value in the future but yeah I mean, I'm only going for SSS that shiny secrets now. If they're not that, I don't want them. But yeah, we're going to go with this, and then we're going to throw on... I still needed to wait for a pink Rockstar banner, because I did trade that away as an ad for... I don't even remember, but I have not seen a pink Rockstar banner in a minute, so I can't even get that and spin for a Midas Touch. We still have 900 rerolls, though, so that's a W. But yeah, let's just get this. Again, we're going to bring our Bloomer and then our normal pink Rockstar, which I can't seem to find her. Interesting. And now this guy is not hybrid on placement. He does not have any hybrid at all. So we are going to bring our Goja with us as well in case there is any airs. We are going to go in the newest infinite. So, you know, we got to keep him out. I am on low quality mode for some reason. I don't know if I had this on the entire time. But yeah, let's go over here. My sound is also not on, I guess. No, it definitely is. Okay, interesting. Town settings is not working. But yeah, let's just go ahead and max out all of our farms and I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so we did max out all of our farms. So I'm going to turn on my VFX. Camera strike doesn't matter that much. We're going to go ahead and place down our Eagers right here in the middle. I want to see if it's a decent placement at least because I've not tried to... Probably like right here would be a good placement for Eagers. So we're just going to go ahead and place them right here when we do get enough money. Now, Gojo doesn't really get a multi, so I'm not going to upgrade him. All right, so on placement, he's going to be doing 16,832 damage every 3.8 seconds with 21.8 range. On placement, he is also a single hit, unfortunately, not a multi hit. His boss does have shield, so he's about to cook me. Good to know. All right, but our first upgrade, 33,665, 3.4 seconds and 23 range. And he gets a new ability, Cursed Void. And then he gets a bigger circle AoE. He is still a single hit, it looks like. Upgrade 3, 58. 3,912, 3.8 seconds, and 25.4 range. Upgrade 4, 69,429. 4.6 seconds at 27.8 range. Then he gets a new ability, Curse Flames. And if any of you guys do have a normal Almighty Seeker Eager, so you can compare the damages. I don't know if it'll be that much different, but you do get 5% off of getting Shiny alone. And you get, I think, 10% off of Brawler 1. So it's basically like getting a Brawler 3 Secret. So it's not that great, but it is still an SSS stat. It's going to be a Shiny, the first limited Shiny Seeker. So I'm probably never going to trade it off until later into the game where it's worth a lot. Upgrade 5, 79,950, 4.2 seconds and 29 range. 
range. And this one is multi hit, by the way. I forgot to say that. Upgrade 6, 88,365, 5.4 seconds, 30.2 range, and he gets a new ability, Converged Curse. And with this, he gets a bigger circle AoE. So he is single hit. Upgrade 7, 96,783 to 5 seconds, 31.5 range. Upgrade 8, 96... Oh, 157,799, 9.9 .9 seconds, and 35.1 range, and he gets a new ability, Curse Discharge. Okay, look at that damage already. I don't, I don't remember how many upgrades he has. I think he has 11 or 12. I can't remember. Upgrade 9, 203,386, 9.6 seconds, and 36.3 range. Oh yeah, I think this is max right here. 203,000 to 255,983, 9.2 seconds and 37.5 range. And on top of that, he has this ability right here, Titan Swordfall, which if you guys do not know, just drops down three giant swords out of the skies and deals a certain amount of damage. I think it only does it like a line AoE or just targets a specific mob. I don't know if it does any of that. Could be just the full AoE, I don't even know. But his max out, 255,000 damage, which again, I think his, I think his unshiny version that I had was doing like 200, was it 223, I think? I can't even remember to be honest uh it was like every 8.4 seconds though so this right here is probably like relatively the same amount of value same amount of value so i don't even think it was worth trading for this i did want to get a shiny seeker double trade anyway so i guess it's worth it for me i'll definitely take it but yeah let me know if you guys think this trade was worth it definitely feel like i got value in my opinion this is an upgrade to my team but yeah that's going to be for this video boys peace out